Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time to take a check of your afternoon update on this Wednesday afternoon. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of our channel. Partly mostly sunny skies for the day on Thursday, looking like a great day out there. Fairly mild temperatures into the mid to upper 30s with a light south-southeast breeze, uh, especially down lower. Up top, we'll see highs in the uh, mid to upper 20s with a slightly noticeable breeze out there. And then we'll see clouds roll in for Thursday night into Friday. We'll see some snow showers. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of accumulation out of that. 35 to 37 at the base, 26 to 28 at the summit, and some elevated winds are expected. As far as the weekend goes, we are looking at partly sunny skies on Saturday, but cold out there. A high of only 10 degrees, uh, low of around 1, up higher on the hill. Partly sunny skies continue on Sunday as temperatures warm up into the upper 20s for your highs, and then some snow showers for the day on Monday. As far as your trail report, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. Find them in Village West. 99 trails to ski and ride on. 66 groomed out. 11 lifts getting you to those trails. And machine groomed and frozen granular surfaces. As far as lifts, 8 o'clock. Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Skidway and Sawduster move you around the base area at 8.30. And the Muscalator gets going at 9. Skyline Super Quad and Double Runner, Us, uh, <laughs> Double Runner East at 8.30 will get you to the mid-mountain terrain. And then King Pine and Whiffletree over on the east side, they get spinning at 8.30 as well. And 9 o'clock, winds and weather permitting, Tim line is scheduled to open and Bucksaw Express at 8.30. As far as grooming, White Nitro, Wedge, Gandhi Line, Timberline, uh, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Haywire, and Skidder, as well as King's Landing, Hayburner, Narrow Gauge, Competition Hill, and Sluice. Uh, as far as the Central Mountain Trails, and then over on the east side, Hallback and Ramdown will get smoothed out, as well as Whiffletree, Two Hall, Cruiser, Slasher, and Rollway. They're going to be smoothing out all the snowmaking whales that you see across the hill. Over on the west side, you'll find Scoot, Windrow, and Horseshoe all groomed out, as well as Chipper, Bucksaw, Whistlepunk, Hatchet, Feller Buncher, Beavertail, and Knot Bumper. All the trails around the base area groomed out, as well as the terrain parks as well. And make note the uphill route, West Mountain Crosscut to Bucksaw, to Backcut, to Chipper, to Timberline, and you can find that route on sugarloaf.com on the daily report as well lodge and nordic shop open to nine to five down at the sugarloaf outdoor center they got 40k groom cross-country skiing the snowshoeing is great the ice rink is open daily they got family skating from five to seven every single night and a snowshoe uh, storybook safari happening uh, on Friday at 1 o'clock. Just register beforehand, please. And the trails are in deep, decent shape out on the fat bike trails. Get out there and ride them in. And on Wednesday, uh, Thursday, a bunch of great events for uh, offered up by Sugarloaf, including the Climb for Community. Quad cam. That's our camera out there at the base of the Super Quad. Uh, live streaming so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go. Also, don't forget to check us out on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as streaming on WSKITV.com and the Spectrum app, as well as Roku and good old Channel 17 on Spectrum Cable. And we've got live mountain reports every single morning this week, so be sure to tune in from 7.30 to 9 a.m. to get all the info to know before you go. Have a great night, folks. We'll see you in the morning.